Hi everyone! So this is a, another very popular request on Tumblr and it's if I have a pattern to my Fiona hat. And the quick answer is nope! And I don't have a tutorial, this is not a tutorial, but I'm just going to tell you the steps that I went to in making it and kind of showing you how I assemble the hat because it is in four pieces. Um, if you don't already know, I made a video about how I made my Fiona sword and it's kind of just how I made it, not necessarily a tutorial, but it's pretty in-depth. So if you want to see that, I'll put a link somewhere and in the description box for you guys. So let's get started. So first and foremost, I want to warn you that you have to have like at least an intermediate level of crocheting skills. Something I think is easy but for like beginners it's pretty hard so I think if you're a beginner you probably won't be able to do this. Um, I'm sorry but if you like are like been crocheting for a while, know how to read patterns and figure out stuff then you'll be okay. So the reason why I wanted to crochet my hat was for the texture. I could have used fur but I don't like working with fur and I don't know, I've made lots of crochet hats, so that's why I went that route. If you watch Adventure Time, you might have heard Finn say that he's going to go kill an evil bear to make another one of his hats. So his hat is made out of fur, and I just envisioned the hat to be fluffy and furry kind of textured. Of course, Fiona's hat to be similar as Finn's hat, so that's why I kind of went the route. So now I'll go over everything that I used to make my hat. So I used just like regular yarn and then I used this fluffy like baby textured yarn and I used those together. I don't really have yarn right now but if you know yarn you know what I'm talking about. Now I can't remember what hook size I used but it was a big one. So I either used a K or an N. One of these hooks it kind of doesn't matter with the method that I use. I probably use this one since I did use um, two pieces of yarn, one being like a bulky yarn. So you might need some duct tape, but that's kind of optional. I use some wire. I don't, maybe, I don't know what gauge this is. 14 gauge? I don't know. It kind of doesn't matter. Um, as long as you can like bend it pretty easily and it holds some shape, that's all you need. This was in the hardware department. I suggest getting this because it's a couple dollars. And I've made a couple pairs of wings with these. I made some, my pieces to my Fiona hat. So like, get you some hardware wire. I used a bonnet pattern. I will put a link in the description box of the pattern. You don't have to use that pattern. You can just use a basic bonnet, crocheted bonnet pattern. Um, yeah, I thought about using a hood, but if you look at the hat, it's like on your head. It's not like down here like a hood, so that's why I went with the bonnet because that seemed to be the closest shape that I needed. And I also need some duct tape or a button. If you're gonna make these clipping bangs, you're going to need tracks or some wefts of hair, some little clips, and you can sew like needle and thread or hot glue or weave glue. So with the pattern, I had to modify it a lot just because I used a much longer, larger hook and I used much thicker yarn. I kind of just like started it and then made it to fit where I thought was big enough in the back and then kind of jumped ahead a couple of steps and adjusted stuff along the way. I know that sounds might sound weird, but like I said, if you work with crochet patterns, you know what I'm talking about. Especially if you hate doing gauges, you might end up altering patterns because your gauge is like way too big or way too small. If you don't do patterns at all and you do a lot of freehand stuff, then you probably don't even need a pattern. Um, after I had like my bonnet shape here, I just like reattached some yarn and I made these little flaps here. Obviously it's just like rectangle shapes. This one is longer than this one. And then I sewed some Velcro right here. Just this overlaps on here so that it can close just like hers. Now you have the bonnet part. And then moving on to <laughs> the ears which are separate. These are freehand. Kind of wrote down a pattern so I can make them the same size. I don't know where that is. I am horrible at writing patterns. So I, I would not know. I would have to make it up again if I was going to make these again. But basically I started with a circle. And then eventually I just, you know, went, stopped increasing. And then went down a little bit. And then after like going down then I decreased do a row, decrease, do a row, decrease. So it has um, kind of a tapered look, just like um, 
the bunny ears on Fiona's hat. Now that we have my ears, the hardest part for me was figuring out how to make them stand up. I stuffed them and I did a bunch of things and it was frustrating and then I had to just like leave it alone and then the next day this idea popped up into my head and it just worked and so I was like it's not the prettiest but it works. I made this sort of headband and as you can see it has duct tape on it just to so this doesn't dig into your, I don't know, scratch your head open. And then I have some duct tape at the base of it. That's not really necessary. But it's probably going to be uncomfortable anyway. Um, this is pretty uncomfortable. After you wear it for a while, you kind of don't notice it. So this is totally detachable. This totally comes out of here, which helps because I, you know, I wash this hat every time I wear it and the ears so that's important so you just slip the ear just right on top of here like that and that's it it stays in there i've worn this to so many conventions i've worn this like all day and then all night at dragon con and my ears never came off or nothing but if you want to make it more permanent of course you can sew it down but like i said you don't even need to do it and it makes it easier to wash and since it's fluffy it, you can't really see especially when it's long you can't really see the like that they're separate or whatever so so that's the hat if you want to make your own clip on bangs you can very well do that that's what I did the pack was about seven bucks and I have lots of hair left over this is the hair that is like a human synthetic mix and so you can curl it so that helped um I kind of just look at the picture saw where her bangs started saw where they ended right here and that's just where I got this length from and then I took three not three, four tracks and glued them together. Um, they're not stacked right on top of each other. I don't know if you can see that. I did that originally and it was just like too bulky. So I kind of like fan down or I don't know, step down, ladder, whatever. I think I used hair glue and then I hot glued these clips on here. And so I just unclip it and clip it in there. The teeth are like this up. So I clip them up onto my hair like this and then I put the hat on and I just curled this so it could flip kind of like hers. Yeah, that's how I made that. This was super easy. If you want a step-by-step -step video about this, I would make that for this because it was super easy um, just to show um, how to make clip and bangs. So let me know if you want to see that. I would be willing to do that. All right, so that is how I made my hat. I'm sorry if you're disappointed if that's because it's not a how-to exactly video and because you have to have a lot of crocheting knowledge, but that's how I made it. If you have any questions, please let me know and I will answer them as best I can. All right, that's it. Till next time. Bye.